swim across this pool filled with dangerous animals, you know, I'll give them either my house, you know, big old mansion, right, or either all my cars, or one night with my beautiful wife, right? And everyone's like looking around like, like Zay, they say, who would do it? Right, but nothing, everyone's like, no one's doing it, right? And all of a sudden they hear the splash, right? Everyone looks, and there's this dude, and sure enough, he's fucking swimming down the middle of the fucking pool, right? And like all these things, like trying to bite him and shit, and they're like attracted to his splashing, right? So they're trying to bite his feet, and they're like coming behind him. And just as he's about to get swarmed by these animals, he jumps out the other side of you. And then the billionaire runs up to him like, oh my gosh, that was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. You don't, you deserve everything, you know? So what do you want? You want my house? Here, here, take it. He's like, no, no, man, I don't want your house. So, oh, oh, you want the cars? You want the cars, right? He's like, no, 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 man. He's like, oh, oh, I see, you want my wife. Honey, get over here. He's like, no, man, I don't want your wife. He's like, what the fuck do you want? He's like, I want to find the motherfucker that pushed me in. <laughs> All right, my name is... Danny Honda, you want to whatever you want. Whatever you want. Uh, I got a little dog, a uh, real dog, you know, she's right there. I named her Peanut, you know, because she's a cute little peanut shaped dog, you know. But I noticed every now and then uh, somebody will ask me, it's always a guy too. They were like, why didn't you name her a girl's name, you know? I'm like, like what? But I'm like uh, Sylvia. I'm like, keep my dog back. Don't touch her. Yeah. But I noticed one thing is that uh, when I fart, it confuses the hell out of her. Yeah, she's like, what the fuck? Did your ass just fucking bark at me? That's a bad breath. Yeah, did you see that uh, boat that crashed? When it yeah. went to the bridge and yeah. sank everything? Yeah, it's crazy, right? Baltimore. Yeah, you know, it's called the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Mm -hmm. right, that was kind of ironic, right? Like, oh, say, can you see? There's a giant fucking boat coming! Yeah, you know, uh, I try to fight against you know negative Asian stereotypes all the time, you know. So that when I found out the, the boat came from Singapore, I was like, God damn it, you know, Asian drivers. Yeah, the news said that the boat weighed 200 billion pounds. It's pretty freaking heavy. It's actually even heavier, you know. It was actually 300 million pounds. But my ex-wife got off you know, before the boat sank. So. Yeah, my name is Danny Honda. You know, I grew up in, in LA. Uh, I actually grew up mostly around Pasadena area. But I'd come down to LA, you know, for the weekends and stuff to like hop out with parents and shit. Like, you ever go to a liquor store or something and you see some little kid in the back doing homework and shit? Yeah, that was me. Yeah, sometimes I'd have to translate for my parents and shit, you know? That's kind of weird, right? Because they're the parents, right? Like, hey, mom, uh, this policeman says he's gonna give you a ticket for going too slow on the freeway. Hey, he says you gotta go faster than 35. Yeah, I was in the Army for a little bit. First Cavalry Division, Fort Hill, Texas. It was cool, you know. It was weird being the only Asian person, though, you know. Every day, people were just looking at me like, are we supposed to shoot this guy? It's pretty cool being in the Army, you know. You got some pretty good benefits. I would say the best benefit is um, the ability to give old men hard-ons. Yeah, old men, they love hearing Army stories, you know. It doesn't even matter what race they are, though. I guess because it makes them feel younger or gives them hope for the future or something. But if I meet some old man in a park and I start telling him stories, I tell him he'll come all over me. Yeah, your parents ever hit you when you were growing up? Yeah. My mom, she'd get a coat hanger and she'd make me stick my hands out, fucking hit me over my hands and shit, mm -hmm. coat hanger. It was fucked up, man. I was like, what the fuck kind of Chinese torture shit is this, you know? Can't she just hit me with a belt or something? What are you guys gonna give me an algebra test? Fucking make me carry buckets of water up the hill or something? Yeah. You know, uh, I know some cultures that are anti-gay are actually quite gay. Like Arab culture, for example, right? You know, they're notorious for being harsh on their LGBTQ. Yet their men openly hold hands in the street. How hypocritical is that, right? They're like, don't act gay. La, 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 la. And Russians too, right? They're like world famous for being violent toward their LGBTQ. But I was watching Olympics once, and this Russian gymnast, after he did this jump thing, 
Instead of high-fiving his teammate, he like kissed him on the mouth. And it wasn't just a peck either. They were like really going at it. They were like, we ain't no tolerate the homosexual in Russia. Come, Vladimir. <laughs> Very strange. You know, it seems like in men's other cultures, they enjoy a level of intimacy with each other that we just kind of lack out here, you know? And I've seen it a little bit, you know, because I was in the army, right? Yeah, the army's very anti-gay because it's so gay. Yeah, because there's like constantly forcing situations where you're like surrounded by the dudes and you're either totally naked or mostly naked, you know? Like the shower is a perfect example, right? There used to be this one guy who'd walk around every time with a rock hard boner. Yeah, at the time, uh, the policy towards gay people was don't ask, don't tell. Nobody had to ask this guy if he was gay or not. Oh, I'm knocking over shampoo bottles and shit. Yeah, it's shocking, you know? Walking in the shower room, you're like, what the fuck? Eddie, soldier! Yeah, and the policy at that time, or I mean, in the army, you know, you're supposed to be hardcore. But not that hard, not that core. <laughs> Yeah, you guys see the Oscars the other day? Yeah. I was watching, I was getting excited. I was like, hey, look, they're bringing back the mummy. But then I saw, I was like, oh no, that's just Al Pacino. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was talking to this guy the other day. He told me he's Persian. I was like, you're Persian? From Persia? He was like, yeah, where are you from? Uh, the Han Dynasty, I guess? <laughs> what are we doing here? Yeah, a couple months ago, I had a really bad haircut, you know. It was very bad. You know, you ever have a haircut so bad, people start treating you different? Mm -hmm. And they're like, this guy must have a learning disability or something. Mm -hmm. It's so embarrassing, just go along with it. I had a waitress at Denny's tie a freaking bib around my neck. <laughs> yeah, some people go off with the salty food, so, you know. Like, they overdo it, right? I made my buddy breakfast the other day, and before even tasting it, he just started pouring salt all over it. I was like, dude, I think those pancakes are salty enough. Yeah. I was watching uh, this documentary the other day about World War II. You know, the uh, English soldiers, the whole time they were like complaining about American soldiers taking their women and stuff. They even had a saying. They were like, oh, the problem with the Yanks is that they're overpaid, oversexed, and overhealed. And they're all laughing and shit. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, would you prefer the Nazis, you ungrateful motherfuckers? Okay, I don't have much time left. All right, here's my impression of the idea Israeli Defense Force, all right? Let's go like this. Self-defense, self-defense, self-defense! Self-defense, self-defense, self-defense! Self-defense, 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 self-defense! What, you want Hamas to win? You want side of terrorists? Okay then. Self-defense, 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 self-defense. Yeah, I'm gonna say that joke every day until this fucking occupation ends. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm taking a stand. IDF has gone overboard. Anyway, that's just the, the army, you know, because uh, Jews as a whole, whatever. I'm Asian, you know, we love Jews. You know? Like, we're like, sensei, please teach us. But I know Jews don't like us too much, you know? And I think I know why. It's because of our eyes. Because if you look, it's not that my eyes are slanted or small. It's that Asian people have an extra layer of skin over our eyelids. It's basically a foreskin. And you know how Jews feel about foreskins, so. All right, that's about all my jokes that I had to work out. My name's Ewan I'm out of here, thank you. Oh, sorry. Four o'clock mic for running over. Have a great day. Goodbye. Alexa, lights on. <laughs>